Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss about the experimental procedure and lab calculations involved in solid liquid extraction using Soxlet apparatus. Soxlet apparatus can be used when the extraction of solute requires the solvent to be at higher temperature. A Soxlet apparatus comprises of three components, a round bottom flask where the solvent will be taken and heated, a sample chamber where the solid sample will be placed for extraction, then a condenser for cooling down the solvent vapors. During Soxlet extraction process, the solvent will be taken in the round bottom flask and it will be heated. Due to heating, the generated vapors of solvent flow through the distillate path and reach the condenser in the equipment. Once these vapors reach the condenser, the vapors will condense and it will fall back to the sample chamber. The falling condensate liquid will wet the solid sample kept in the thimble. As the solvent vapors condense more and more, when the level of condensed liquid in the sample chamber rises high and reaches the siphon level, due to the suction pressure, all the liquid in the sample chamber drains down into the round bottom flask. At this point, we consider the process is crossed the first stage. The extraction can be further extended without the worry in reduction in the solvent level as it all the solvent becomes vapor and fall back into the same flask. The process again continues. The solvent becomes vapor, raised to condenser, condense back and fall in the sample chamber, fills and once reaches the level, it falls back again. That will be considered the next stage. In this particular experiment, at a constant solvent to feed ratio, we will calculate the percentage recovery of solute in Soxlet apparatus. To perform this experiment, the 5 gram of sodium carbonate and 45 gram of sand mixed together is taken in a filter paper and kept inside this sample chamber. The filter paper acts like a thimble as it is porous in nature. 300 ml of water is taken as solvent and kept in the round bottom flask. The ratio of solvent taken and the solid feed that is 300 gram of water by 50 gram of solid feed which gives 6 as the solvent to feed ratio. Once the first stage is over, the solution from the round bottom flask is collected separately to analyze the concentration of extracted sodium carbonate at the end of the stage 1. Similarly, a sample of solution is collected at the end of the stage 2 and then stage 3. The amount of sodium carbonate in these solutions is analyzed by titrating against 0.1 normal HCl using methyl orange as indicator. To perform this, 10 ml of sample is taken from the round bottom flask and made up to 100 ml by diluting with water. From this made up volume of 100 ml, 10 ml is taken for titration. The same process repeated for the sample collected at the end of stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. In a burette, point 0.1 normal of HCl is taken and 10 ml of collected sample is taken in the conical flask with methyl orange as indicator. The titration was carried out until the appearance of brick red color. The volume of 0.1 normal HCl required to neutralize the sodium carbonate is noted down. Once we collected the volume of HCl required, we can move for the calculations. To perform the calculations, we need the equivalent weight of sodium carbonate that is 53 gram and then the solvent volume used for extraction that is 300 ml in this case. For diluting, we have used 10 ml and we made up to 100 ml. For titrating, we use 10 ml of solution against 0 0.1 normal of HCl. To find the recovery of sodium carbonate, we need to know the mass of sodium carbonate recovered. To find the mass of sodium carbonate recovered, we diluted the actual solution from the round bottom flask. Hence, we have to find the dilute extract normality and from that we have to calculate the extract normality. That can be calculated using this formula. As we have all the data required for calculating this dilute extract normality and extract normality, we can proceed with the calculation and we can find for stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. For stage 1, we got 0 0.018 as dilute extract normality and 0.18 for extract normality. Once we calculated the extract normality for stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3, we can move on to calculate the mass of sodium carbonate recovered and the recovery of sodium carbonate in percentage using this formula. At the end of the first stage, we could get 57% of sodium carbonate and at the end of the second stage, we got 76% and at the end of the third stage, we got 95.4%. The number of stages and the recovery percentage can be plotted to see the increase in the recovery percentage with number of stages. Thank you.